Um, yes, this is just one of the many things that they've done, you know, to try to silence me. Um, but, yeah, the um, lawsuit that I filed was because on the first story that they did, the New York Times, and, you know, they used me as a basically a whipping post all of 2020 to try to silence and discredit me. But the first story was on Easter Sunday, and I was woken up very early in the morning by a friend who lived back east and said, hey, the online story in New York Times has your, your congressional ID showing your Social Security number. We need to get it down. It took a few hours. We got it down. And... Um, they did comply with taking it down, but it was very, it was very awful. So I did try to file a lawsuit. Um, I lost. Uh, the judge ruled that it was in the public interest uh, to print it, and um, I then was slapped with um, attorneys' fees from New York Times, upwards close to um, over seventy-one thousand dollars. So. Yeah. So you are not a rich person, I know from our conversations. No. Um, so just two quick questions. How is it in the public's interest for the New York Times to publish your social security number of all of all private things? Well, suddenly, um, I guess there was a great interest in freedom of speech, so in freedom of the press. So freedom of the press oh. would be the impetus for that um, and, and sort of a, a more of a legal argument. And I, I don't want to bore your audience with all of that, but there's been different ways um, that the, uh, you know, Biden administration has come after me. They've come after me with the DOJ with sealed warrants and my Twitter, which are of record. And have, there's been, uh, you know, a little bit of press about that. Um, they took my, you know, com communications on Twitter and all of that. So, yeah, it's been, um, you know, watching Joe Biden take a wrecking ball to my I've been experiencing this wrecking ball to my life. But now I've been watching the last couple of years take a wrecking ball to the United States, um, including, you know, the proxy war that Russia and uh, NATO that that NATO is, and U.S. is fighting against Russia, you know, yeah. and upwards of $100 billion going over there when we have dire circumstances here. So all of those things that I talked about that I criticized um, Joe Biden about, besides uh, the awful experience of being sexually assaulted by him when I was a Senate staffer in 1993, um, you know, our, people are seeing just the true Joe Biden of how corrupt this regime is. And yeah. um, if there needs to be any regime change, it doesn't need to be in other countries. It needs to happen here. Now, I agree. So, I agree. Yeah. We're seeing how cruel and ruthless they are. And not only do they don't believe all women, they will hurt women who disobey. And you're a perfect example. And, and further, Tucker, you know, the New York Times has become, the legacy media has become like an arm of the Biden administration, yeah. like the DOJ and the FBI. I mean, look at what just happened to Matt Taibbi, who testified about, you know, the different ways that they were trying to suppress U.S. citizen speech and using um, taxpayer money to do it and control yeah. the conversation and control the narrative. He got visited by an IRS agent the day of his testimony. So <laughs> They send know, the IRS I, to your I, house. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not. So we're all waiting for that. And I know that you are. You, well, you're living it now. Terry, thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you. For